Hello there and thank you again for stopping by D&D RV Center here in Helena, Montana. Today we are going to look, I might say on a very beautiful fall day, at a 2015 Aspen Trail 2710BH. The 2710 Aspen Trail is a really popular model with our customers. A lot of different companies build a similar floor plan to this. Nobody puts it together the way Aspen Trail does, and we want to show you some of the things to look for if you're shopping for a trailer like this. First thing you'll notice is it is aerodynamic. So when you're pulling it down the road, there is some aerodynamics there, a little better fuel economy, a little less wind resistance, especially if you're heading into a headwind. That's a really big thing that a lot of companies just don't do. You'll also notice that if you happen to be traveling on some gravel, which most of our customers do, there is a diamond plate, black diamond plate rock guard on the bottom down there to uh, go ahead and take some of that punishment instead of just the standard aluminum. Also a very nice, very nice uh, black propane tank cover so your propane tanks don't get all beat up. You will notice that it does have stabilizer jacks on the front. That's a big deal. Uh, some of the cheaper brands won't do that. You also can see there that we have a pass-through storage. That pass-through storage is, goes all the way through and it is very, very big. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there, which a lot of companies are really not very good about. Now we want to mention that this video is going to be posted on multiple 2710 listings on our website. So the one we're looking at here in the video may have a different color interior, may have some different options on it than, uh, than an, a particular listing on our website that you might be looking at. Uh, but the pictures that are on the website will be accurate. Those are of that particular trailer. Uh, this video will be posted on many different listings because we go through a lot of 2710s every year. A few things you'll notice, gorgeous graphics on this 2710. Uh, Aspen Trail does a great job with a very good looking trailer. It's just not your average blah, vanilla, bland looking trailer. This thing is really, really good looking. And also, dark tinted radius corner windows. That's a mouthful, but clear windows are cheaper than tinted windows. Square corners are cheaper than round corners. So a lot of companies will use cheap untinted windows, some with square corners if they're really going cheap. You'll also notice on the door, the door is a radius top entrance door. Again, a square entrance door is cheaper, but a problem with a square entrance door is it's going to tear your awning where the radius corner will not. Speaking of the awning, you can see it's got a nice size awning on it. That is a power awning. Uh, you push a button inside the coach to put it out, and you push the same button to put it back in. One of the really cool things about that awning is it's good size. Uh, a lot of companies will put a real short one on just to save a couple hundred bucks. Also, it has an LED light strip built in. That strip, a lot of companies have that. But a lot of them are putting that out in the awning roller tube, so you can only use that light strip when the awning is extended. The way Aspen Trail's done it is that light strip is right underneath the awning tube, so you can use that light strip whether the awning is extended or retracted like it is right now, and it will still work. Another thing you'll notice is the exterior speakers. We've got on this particular one, that's a nice feature a lot of our customers really like. You can listen to a little music while you're sitting out under your awning. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at the other side of the 2710, and then we'll uh, get inside and show you some of the features they've got on the inside. Of course, here's the other, the other uh, compartment so that's the pass-through compartment another stabilizer jack of course you can see multiple windows that open another thing you'll see on cheaper trailers is windows that don't open or just no windows <clears throat> that's a that's a way to save a few dollars uh, good looking chrome chrome uh, rings on the wheels silver wheels this particular one does have an outside shower and it also has the black tank flush you might not find that on all of them just because that is a feature that we do a lot of volume and we got them to do on this build, but um, is not a standard item on Aspen Trails any longer. We do have a spare tire on this. That sounds kind of cheesy, because you expect that, but spare tires are optional. And some dealers on their cheap, especially a trailer that's designed to be a price point trailer and be a competitive model like this particular one, they'll, they'll save that $150 or $200 and uh, just forget to tell you about it. The problem is when you need it up in the mountains somewhere, <laughs> it won't be there. So definitely something to pay attention to. On uh, this particular one, nice to have the water heater in the back. It's out of the way, and if it is running, it's not noisy right underneath your awning or anything like that. You can see it's got the extensions on the rain gutters right there to help keep the water off the side of the trailer. It helps keep your trailer cleaner and less maintenance that way. And we're going to walk down this side, and then we'll take a quick look inside the Aspen Trail 2710. You can see it does have the nice big entry assist handle right there, which is a fantastic thing for kids. Uh, elderly folks, anybody with any kind of disability, they'll love having that there. All right, let's go inside. All right, welcome inside the Aspen Trail 2710BH. 
Uh, this particular one that we're standing in is 4,830 pounds empty. That is easily towable by almost all tow vehicles today, so not a difficult trailer to tow at all, especially when you combine it with that aerodynamic front end. Uh, nice little kitchen in here. You got some uh, some counter space. They use a radius counter just to give you a little more than a lot of companies do. You can see they put a door underneath the oven for storage along with some drawers. Every bit of storage is important in every travel trailer. Uh, some cabinets up here, a shelf. So you can see definitely got some room. A nice window at the end of the sofa here. That window does open. Again, something you won't find in some of the com uh, competitors' models. Got a nice sofa right here. Nice to have a place to sit down, put on your shoes. Right this way is the booth dinette. And they did a nice job with a nice tinted window, big opening in that window. So if you're sitting there, and hopefully you can get a little breeze coming through and be nice and comfortable. And a really nice bank of cabinets up above that dinette. So you got some extra storage space there. Uh, the flooring is gorgeous. And while we're looking at the flooring, let's also notice that we are using ducted heat. So it does distribute the heat throughout the trailer. Again, some cheaper models will just use a direct discharge furnace. And that furnace just blows all the heat out right in one spot. So part of the trailer can be nice and warm and part of it might not be. Up in the corner here, you'll notice the stereo system and TV hookups and a TV mounting location. So they've reinforced the wall there for a TV. Aspen Trail has decided not to put TVs in any longer because of a couple of reasons. One reason is a lot of people that are buying family models with bunk beds like this just don't want a TV. A lot of people do. Here's the thing. If, the, if Aspen Trail or any manufacturer buys that TV and then they install it and they sell it to us, by the time it gets all the way to you, you're paying twice for that TV what you can buy it for at a local store. And you know what? They're real easy to install. So uh, if you want a TV, it can certainly be done, but you're not going to pay too much for it this way. So that's a really nice, uh, really nice way to do it. You'll notice back here at the bunks, these are double wide bunks. And so you can fit two, three, maybe four smaller kids on each bunk, but certainly a couple. And that is a great, great feature of the 2710. Many companies building this floor plan build it with really small bunks. Just doesn't work that well. Got a nice big fridge, uh, Norcold refrigerator with a separate freezer on the top. Of course, you can see you got a microwave, a uh, range and oven, and uh, good counter space. Put a nice little chair rail in here to separate it and break the wall up a little bit, make it look uh, a little classier. They've done a great job with that does have air conditioning on it, so another great feature. Good job with lighting, double light fixture there, another one there, another one over here, another one up here. Lighting is a place that a lot of companies will cut corners because you look at these in the daytime out on a dealer's lot like ours, and guess what? You're not gonna turn the lights on. You're not gonna know that the lighting's bad until you go camping the first night. So you don't have to worry about it in the Aspen Trail. We're gonna take a quick peek at the bathroom and uh, then we'll turn around and head forward towards the master bedroom. Nice design in the bathroom of the Aspen Trail 2710BH. You can see that it's got plenty of uh, floor space in front of the toilet. So if you're sitting there, it's got plenty of room for your legs. Something you can't say about every bathroom design. It's got a tub, it does have a shower surround. A lot of our competitors just use just regular wall paneling like this and they don't use a shower surround like this. Um, you want the shower surround. Also, you can see it's got a skylight, so you've got some light in there. It also gives you extra height, so taller people have a little more headroom in that shower, so that's pretty doggone nice. And you got a mirror, and you've got a vanity area with some storage underneath that. So lots of great features in the bathroom of the Aspen Trail 2710. Looking forward, you can see the sofa, a little better view of the sofa than we've had, and you can see the door going into the master bedroom and that wall. Now, <clears throat> some, of, uh, some of our competitors don't do that. Uh, they'll leave that open, and the master bedroom is wide open to the rest of the coach. Well, that's nice because it does feel a little bigger inside the coach. The problem with it is if you're buying an Aspen Trail 2710 with double wide bunks, you most likely have kids, and it's pretty likely that your kids will bring friends from time to time. So having some privacy in the master bedroom to get dressed is pretty nice. The other thing about it is if you don't want to make your bed in the morning while you're out camping, and heck, I don't blame you if you don't, you can just close that door and any guests that come into your coach that day won't even notice it. Lots of great reasons to have that, have that wall right there. But it does cost more money, and you'll notice that they put a real hinged wooden door, not some little folding cheap accordion door or a curtain. Again, if we're building on the cheap, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so, another great feature there. We're gonna open that door 
And we're gonna go ahead and walk in here and show you that it's got a nice uh, contrast, some different color paneling. Uh, there are two lights above the bed. There's another light up in here. Another location for another TV should you want one in your master bedroom. Uh, there is a heat duct down on the floor. You can see you can get all the way around the bed. There's a heat duct right there, a nice big window. There's some shirt closets and some mirrors. It's a fantastic design for a master bedroom and that takes you right out into the main living area. So if you're looking for a very affordable, lightweight, easy to tow bunk bed travel trailer for your family, you might want to take a good hard look at the Aspen Trail 2710BH at D and the DRV Center here in Helena, Montana. Uh, we offer no hassle wholesale pricing. We have no extra fees, <coughs> excuse me, no surprise charges. What you see is what you get. Um, we don't like to play games with our customers. It will come with two batteries, full propane tanks, full customer orientation. Uh, we want you to be as comfortable as we can make you when you take off with your Aspen Trail. <clears throat> we offer excellent financing, and right now rates and terms are just fantastic, so it's a great time to buy. And uh, we're happy to help with that financing if you need that assistance. We're D&D RV Center. We are in Helena, Montana. We are right on I-15 as you go through town. And you can visit us on our website, if you're not there, at ddrvcenter.com. Give us a call at 406-442-8542 or stop on in the store. Thanks for coming by. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day.